Hi everyone, welcome back to this fresh new lab part of the random forest section. In the theory part, we have seen about what is random forest, how it is different from uh, decision tree, and uh, why random forest does a better job most of the times compared to decision tree. Also, we have looked into what are the demerits of random forest too. Okay, in this part of these bigger section of random forest, we are going to execute all the theoretical part that we have learned and implement it into the lab part. We are going to take a data set and as a data scientist, we are going to approach that problem and solve it out by applying our random forest algorithm over here. So this is the place where we are going to create our first ever random forest classifier model, which will help us to classify different classes. So first thing first, is let's import the libraries that we need before that get your laptop ready and let's get started coding okay these are the uh, libraries that we need so we need pandas numpy cvon matplotlib these are the four libraries which is pretty basic uh, for each and every uh, tutorial lab tutorial so let's run it out let's see and there are any errors or not so no there are no errors now i am going to read my data set ed dot read csv so my data set name that uh, the data set that i am going to use in this is social network ads dot csv let's call data dot head so you as a data scientist have been given a task that from the age and from the estimated salary you have to uh, create a model which will tell us if the person has purchased the product or not okay so here's our data there are complete of uh, 400 data points and three features three columns okay three columns two features that will help us predict the purchase Okay, in purchase, we have two values, zeros and one. Zero is uh, for if the person has not brought and one is for if the person has brought it out. Okay, so here is our data and we are going to do a bit of EDA on this data. After doing a bit of EDA, uh, look into what all different things we can get out from the data, we are going to implement our machine learning model into this. Let's start with the EDA part. Let's name this section as EDA. Okay, let's create out some new cells. And then the first thing you always know that what I do is I will do something like this data.info and data.describe. These are the two things that is the first and foremost thing that I'm going to do. So there are no null values, and each and every column is of data type integer. So we don't need to do anything over here right now then we have our age uh, estimated salary and purchase the count is 400 the mean is 37 697 for uh, purchase is this okay standard deviation the minimum the minimum salary is 15000 and the maximum salary is 15 lakh 50% uh, of our data is somewhere for the age is uh, the people lie around in 37, the estimated salary lies around in 70,000 and 50% of our data set has people who have not brought, uh, have not purchased the product. So let's look into this. So we are going to check data dot purchase how many data points we have or if this is an imbalanced data set or not. So dot value counts let's check okay so out of 400 we have 257 data set for 0 and uh, 150 almost 150 data points for uh, 1 okay so it is quite an imbalanced data set but uh, not a big deal we can work out with this as the data points are very less so let's approach okay let's uh, plot out some plots for it pair plot and let's pass data Hmm. This gives me a clear picture about the distribution. As I've told you, the age they lie mostly in the 30s or 50 percent. Over here, we have seen that 50 percent of these are like less, uh, almost near to 37. Okay, so you over here also you can see that when the age is somewhere in 40, this phase, the most of the uh, data points are in this phase. 
okay an estimated salary it's quite uh, indulged distributed properly and purchase the data points we have already seen that for zero we have more data points and for one we have less data points and here we have a graph between estimated salary and age okay let's uh, look into this graph where we have age and estimated we have age and estimated salary okay and keep the hue as purchase so that we can get a view that if there are any uh, differences or not as there are only two columns it will be very easy for us to plot right so let's do a scatter plot scatter plot let's pass age as x then estimated estimated salary okay. and let's pass data is equal to data let's plot okay this is fine and the next thing that i want to do is keep my queue as the purchased column hmm so here we have a clear much better picture over here and this is our uh, this is how our data has been distributed with age and estimated salary and you can see that we can do a very good task while uh, creating a random forest model easily because the data whenever the age is less and the estimated salary is less we can say that uh, the person has not brought it but if the age is more and the estimated salary is high then there is a high probability that the person will buy it okay uh, if you want a count plot let's uh, look into a count plot also for purchased Hmm. Okay, we need to pass in the data. We have forgot to pass in the data. As we have told you that we have 250 data points for 0 and 150 data points for 1. It's quite imbalanced, but uh, that is completely fine. Right. Okay. So, we have completed with the EDA part. The next part that we are going to do is uh, splitting the model and training out our model. So, let's jump into our next video for that.